because here there are videos every day with the latest news from the arsenal and to don't miss any of it, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Granit Zaka is sorely missed in Arsenal's midfield. Kieran Gibbs is the latest to point this out, as we revealed in a fine article titled X Gunner Believes Current Arsenal Team Needs Zaka. A controversial 1-0 defeat to Newcastle on Saturday ended Arsenal's unbeaten run in the league. In that game, it was clear that Arsenal's attack was once again not as fluid as last season, and it seems that this is due to the fact that they lacked what Zaka used to provide. At this point, I can't help but ask, will Arsenal ever be able to replace Zaka with the midfielders they already have? Or will they need to bring in another quality midfielder to fill the void left by Zaka? Anyway, before Arteta asks himself that question with the winter transfer window far away, why doesn't he consider using Oleksandr Zinchenko as his number 8 on the left? Given how threatening we saw Zinchenko at times when he moved into midfield to orchestrate an attack, this is a position where he can thrive. In midfield, the Ukrainian is attentive to recognizing holes and angles that allow the ball to travel up the field and break down the opponent's defenses. With Tomiyasu thriving as an inverted left-back, Zinchenko playing the Zaka role will not hurt Arsenal. With no one capable of filling that role, a single attempt by Zinchenko in the role could, in the future, alter the dynamics of Arsenal's midfield. And now Arsenal fan, I want Tio hear from you. What is your opinion about this? Put your opinion in the comments, I don't know if you know, but your opinion is very important for the Armoury I'll be back with another news from the Armoury at any moment.